Recently I saw this landing page of GTA 6 website and I recreated their mind blowing animation in Elementor. So when you refresh this page, you can see this nice entrance animation and when you scroll down, you can see this cool masking effect and these headings are also revealed in a cinematic way. Cool right? So without any further ado, let's see how can we make that. Ok, here we have created a demo section and at the top of that, here we will create our main scrolling section. I'll show you everything from scratch but if you also don't want to watch this full tutorial and only want to get this thing as a ready-made template, you can also get it from my template shop and here as a bonus, you will get both the container and the old section column version. Ok, now before we start, let's break down the whole process. First we need a background image and above that, we need an overlay layer and we will change its opacity according to the scroll. And at the top of that, we will place this SVG mask and throughout this mask, we can see our behind layers. We also zoom this according to our scroll. And at the top of everything, let's place these headings which will show at the end of the scroll. Ok, so let's create this. So first of all, let's click on this plus icon and from here, let's create a new container and make it to full width and give it a very long height so that we can scroll through this container. So from here let's go to this custom option and make it to 100 VH plus 2500 pixel and here you need to write it exactly like this using the CSS calc function. Let's make the gap to 0 because we don't want any gap between its items and here we can see some default padding so let's make it to 0. Also give it a background color. Now inside this let's add our background image. So from here let's add a new container inside that and make it to full width and full height 100 VH. And to set the background from here let's go to this background overlay option. And remember that you need to set it from the background overlay option. If you set it from the background it will not working. Ok. So from here let's upload an image. Make its position to the center and the size to cover and make the opacity to fully 1. Now inside this I want to add a logo and text here. So from here let's drag an image widget and upload an logo. Ok, this looks too big so let's reduce it to 300 pixel. And to place it on here let's open the structure panel and go to this container and make its justify content to int and align items to center. And also make sure to give its overflow to the hidden, otherwise during the zooming effect, this image will go outside of this container. Ok, now from here, let's also drag and text editor widget, change this text, make its color to fully white and also change the typography. Also adjust its margin. Now to create our overlay, under here let's create an another container. So let's drag it to here, outside of this container, at the bottom and make sure it's full width and full height, 100 VH. Make its overflow to the hidden, remove this default padding. And from here let's go to this background overlay and set the background color. And initially I want to make the opacity to fully zero. Now inside that we will add our SVG mask. So first we need to create our that SVG and then add it to here. So to create the SVG, we need to go to this website photopia.com which is basically an online version of Photoshop. Here to create a new project, click on this button and from here choose any dimension you want and click on create. From the left panel, click on this type tool and click on here and write down the text you want. But here we cannot see the text because it's in white color. So let's select all and from here let's change this text color to black. Ok. And you can also change the font family anything you want. Make the font weight more bold. And here instead of this space, I want to place each words in different line. Again select all and I want to make the text align to the center. Ok, also from this text option, you can change the font size and also adjust this letter spacing or line height. 
now to place it at the middle let's go to this move tool and drag it at the middle here and now on the right side here you can see all of our these layers so from here let's hide this background layer and right click on this text layer and from here you must need to convert this into a shape so click on here and finally let's cut down the extra space around this text so from this image let's click on the stream option and click on ok and to export this from here go to this export as and click on svg and from here you can name it anything you want like vice logo and click on save now let's go back to the edit page and to add the svg let's first add an image widget and upload the logo we have just created okay right now it looks black don't worry about that when you paste our custom code it will then convert it to our svg mask so right now what you need to do we just need to hide it from all of the devices so after that here i want to add our headings and we need to wrap this inside an another container so let's drag a container to here right inside our this container okay and inside this let's drag an heading widget change this text and also the typography let's also make it to center now to create an another heading let's duplicate this and for this one let's change its text and make its font smaller make its color to fully white now here i want to make this text in multiple lines so to do that let's go to this container and make its width 500 also reduce the gap between them and from here let's make its position to the absolute from the bottom make it to zero and to place it on here let's remove this x offset value and go to our this container and make its align items to center and here i want to make our these headings to a gradient color which we'll do with our custom code but before that we need to remove this color from here so make it to fully transparent now before adding our custom code we need to add some classes so first of all let's go to our this very first container and with this one let's add mdwgta6 effect then with our this container mdwgta6 banner then with this one mdwgta6 container with this svg image mdwgta6 svg then with this container mdwgta6 text with the heading widget mdwgta6 heading 1 and lastly with this last heading mdwgta6 heading 2 and lastly to add our custom code here let's search for an html widget and let's drag it to here at the top of this container and paste this code snippet don't worry i'll give all the code snippet to my website and also give the website link to my description so from here you just need to copy and paste that code right now let's save this and if you see it from our preview we can see this inference animation is perfectly working and if we scroll down we can see this masking effect also with this heading reveal effect okay everything is perfectly working except here we have an issue so at this position we can see this background image get blocked by the black portion of this text so if you go to here and scroll down to the bottom at this position here you can see a little dot above this logo which basically indicates the zooming origin of this logo right now it's at zero position which is basically the center of this logo but i want to place it at the middle of this letter i so let's change the y origin 40 and make the x to perfect so in your case you need to adjust it according to your logo okay right now we can see how the problem has been fixed and here another thing you can see as this background image has a zoom in effect so when it gets zoomed you can see it looks a little bit blurry so we need to upload a high quality image to get rid of this like here you can see i have a high quality image which dimension is about 3500 by 2100 pixel but even if you upload this it will not shrink properly because some hosting provider automatically optimize your images and show it in low resolution 
For example, if I go to my Hostinger website settings and from here go to the CDN, Manage and Website Optimization, you can see the maximum image width is 1600 pixel. That means if you upload a bigger image than that, it automatically optimizes that. But in this case, I don't want that. So I want to turn off this whole option. And now if I want to upload that image, it's still not working because WordPress also does not allow you to upload that high quality image. So normally you cannot upload it from here. So to upload that, you need to temporarily install a file manager plugin like WP file manager. And then you need to go to here where you can see all the file and folders of your website. So from here, just go inside WP content, uploads, go to the latest year and the latest month. And inside this, let's upload the image. If we scroll down, here you can see the image. Just right click on here and click on open. And from here, you just need to copy this portion of the URL. Let's close this and now go back to the edit page. And here inside the code, you can see the option banner HD URL, which is inside a comment. So click on here and press command slash to remove the comment. And instead of this HD image URL, paste the URL, you just copy it. Okay, now we can see this image is perfectly loaded. And sometimes if this is still not working, just make sure to clear your browser cache and it will be fine. Okay, right now this looks good on desktop. Now let's also check it for other devices. So go to tablet and here I want to reduce the size of this logo. So go to this image and make it 200. Let's scroll down. Here let's reduce the size of this text and also this one. Let's reduce the gap between them. So go to this container, make it to 30. And I want to make this text again in three lines. So let's reduce the width furthermore. Let's also reduce the size of this SVG mask. We can do that from this custom code. And here you can see I have give you several options like the SVG image height, image gap, also this gradient color of this heading. And here these options require refresh. That means when you change the value of these options, you need to refresh this page to see the changes. And here all of these values are for the desktop devices. If you also want to modify anything specifically for the tablet, here is also the place for that. So for example, if I just copy these two values and paste it to here and for tablet, I want to make it to 105 and this one 15 pixel. Okay. And here as this option required refresh. So let's save this and refresh. Now we can see the changes. Okay. And here you can see as we change the size of this logo, so our this red dot also shifted a little bit. So to fix this, I want to just copy these two values from here and first paste it to here and adjust this value. Perfect. Now finally check it on mobile. And I can see it on mobile devices. This scroll animation makes the page too much laggy. So I keep the animation off for mobile. Rather, I decided to make it minimal on mobile. So here we have this big height of this container. So go to our this container and here first of all make it in pixel and make it to zero. And to reduce the height of this background, let's go to this container and also make it to 300. Here I don't want to show this inner content. So from here, let's hide it on mobile. Also for this one, let's hide this. Okay, let's go to the bottom. And here we also need to check it from the wider mobile devices. And here this content looks too wide. So go to this container and make it to a fixed width. And finally, let's reduce the height of this section. So go to this container and make it to 500. Now it's also looking good from the mobile devices. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.